25 years in the Meade School District. It's fair to say, Mary D'Amico likes it. Yes, a couple of grandkids in it. But she's now questioning what it means to be fair at all. And I don't think it's fair regardless of what you are. Mary's talking about a new resolution in the Meade School District. It wants to separate high school sports by biological sex alone. The document says males have inherent physical advantages over females, and therefore, the two should never compete against each other. Meaning transgender athletes should not compete under the identity they choose. We live in a society that so many people discriminate against. I think that would take away from who you are. The current WIAA policy agrees. It allows any high school athlete to compete as they identify, long as it's the identity they most consistently express. Critics say amending this policy will target already vulnerable students. That does concern me. And Mary? Because I think it's going to exile a lot of students. She knows all about vulnerable people. It makes me very sad because my grandchildren in Colorado, two are half black, one's Hispanic. And I so worry about those little boys because of discrimination. The WIAA says their current policy is in alignment with state and federal law, including Title IX. But Meade's proposed resolution says otherwise. It argues transgender girls competing in girls' sports is discrimination against biological girls. And it creates a competitive field that's unfair. No man is better than any woman, and no woman's better than any man. We're all equal. We all bleed the same blood. That's just what I believe. <laughs>